Hello everyone. In this video, we will use uh, Redux, okay, Redux toolkit to fetch data from an API. Okay, this is this video is all about to fetch data using Redux toolkit. So this is the API that we are we will fetch these to do's. Okay, and I have created my React app. So this just I have a fresh uh, React app which I have created. Now first of all, we will install those dependencies that we need to use. Okay, so let's move to the terminal. Inside this terminal, I will install npm install react redux. This is the first one, and the second one is at redux js slash toolkit. Press enter, and we will install these dependencies right now. Yeah, the has installed successfully. Now let's close it, and we will use them. Okay, first of all, we will create a folder inside this src folder. Let's name it redux inside this redux i will create a file by the name of store.jsx where i will create my store as you know uh, if you don't know about the redux toolkit i have uh, uh, created a video uh, how to use the redux and what is all about this i have explained explain in a video so you can watch that okay you have link in the description for that video so now let's create a store first of all so let's import import from at redux js toolkit we will just import configure store okay configure store so after importing it now let's use it use it const um, store is equal to configure store and inside it we will create it okay like for example we will assign a name to do and here we will uh, assign our slicer okay right now we did it uh, uh, imported our slicer so first of all we will create that then we will um, uh, as use it okay let's export it also export we will export store uh, so store also so now let's create our slicer okay just come here uh, to do slicer dot jsx and inside it uh, first let's import from at redux js toolkit oh this is from ajax toolkit what we want to uh, import a uh, create slice method create slice okay this is selector and also create a sync method create a sync tank method okay this uh, these are both method but this we will use this method okay this uh, create a sync tank which is used to pitch api data so this function just accept two parameters the first one is an action string the second one is a callback fun callback function so now let's create it um, just const uh, to do slice slice is equal to um, we will just call it create slice and inside the slice uh, first we will create um, assign a name to this okay name is like to do and then the initial state we will just use it the initial state uh, by default the initial state uh, we will assign three proper properties the first one is is loading is it in loading or the, the uh, case has done or not okay it means that by default that is false then our data that we have initially data we can assign an array or null and the third property is error if there was any error we will store that we will assign it true to this after that here we will use our reducer but uh, uh, we will create them later so now let's export it okay export default uh, to do slice now let's use it inside our store let's first of all import it to do slice from to do slicer and we will use that here okay to do we will assign to do slice uh, we can just import to do slice uh, dot reducer okay dot reducer and we will name it to do reducer to do reducer now let's use it okay copy this and paste it here so this is our store okay that we have created we will use this to do uh, now let's come here okay here we will use now create a sync tank method okay so for that uh, let's const uh, we can export it also okay export const 
uh, we will name it fetch to do is equal to we will create now a, a call create a sync tank method and we will assign first of all a string like to do uh, fetch to do okay fetch to do and the second one is a callback function this will be a, sy a synchronous function with us let's create this function and inside this function we will fetch our data from uh, our URL okay so for that let's const uh, data is equal to uh, a wait keyword then we will call fetch okay you can use access also to fetch the data but I will use fetch method okay and let's come here and we will copy this URL to copy our to do's and paste it here after pasting them now let's convert our data to JSON JSON format return data dot JSON that's enough okay so we have did it now let's create here our extra reducer come here sorry extra reducer and here we will create a function builder inside uh, this extra uh, extra is used okay for uh, asynchronous uh, requests so inside this we have three cases okay the first one is whenever the data fetching is fulfilled the second one is when it is pending the second third one is if there was an error these three cases now we will create these all these three cases so let's create our first builder dot add case okay inside this add case uh, we will just use now uh, see add case um, action creator okay so the string okay that we had pitch to do so okay this pitch to do pitch to do dot pending if that was in pending state it means the data was not pitched uh, dot pending so here um, what we will do now we will uh, just uh, get a state in action here and we will create this function if that was in pending state what we will do we will just assign to this is loading true state dot is loading is equal to true we will assign this true to is loading this was the first case with us uh, now let's add the third the second case that is like builder dot add case and that is uh, fetch to do dot uh, fulfilled okay if that fulfilled so then skip state and action what we will do here if that uh, fulfilled so then um, state that is loading we will assign it false and state dot dot data is equal to action dot failout this was the second case with us now let's create third case uh, builder dot add case and that is uh, fetch to do dot rejected okay if that has rejected so then state and action Uh, what we will do now we will assign an error uh, to error false okay state dot error is equal to true so that is okay okay these are three cases that we have created right now so this is all about our slicer and this was our store now let's come here to our main.jsx we will wrap all this app.jsx inside the provider let's first of all import the provider provider okay provider from react redux that has imported uh, now let's import our store also import store okay store from slash redux slash store dot j6 now let's use this store okay first of all we will use our provider inside this we will use this that's okay let's assign our store to provider it means all the component inside this will access the store store so that is okay let's come here store export here yeah, that is exported store 
so now let's remove all the default code okay that we have uh, we will remove the default code and we, I think we faced with an error so we will check it later so now let's come here to the update j6 I will remove this default code remove this also remove this and we will create uh, a new component by the name of to do that j6 and inside this to do we will uh, fetch all our to do and display them so inside this to do first of all we will import let's import use dispatch and also use selector use dispatch is used to dispatch an action and use selector to retrieve our data and also we will import our um, fetch to do open function okay const fetch to do okay this function from sorry import fetch to do okay from or slicer to do slicer we have imported this function also so now let's create first of all an instance of use dispatch const dispatch is equal to use dispatch and also we will get retrieve our data using use sli use selector const data is equal to use selector we will pass our state and we will return state uh, dot data state let just we will return state and let's print it okay first of all we will print it console dot log data and we will import this to do inside app dot j6 Yeah, that has imported now let's move to our browser so let's check it okay let's move to the console so we faced with an error reducer yeah just come here to the store I think we missed the reducer yeah here we should use reducer reducer inside reducer we should do this task okay that is okay let's move and check it now so let's refresh it once again what happened so we paste we got this to do and inside the to do what we have data null error false is loading false i think we didn't receive our data okay so let's check it okay what happened just come here to do uh yeah to do component okay just come here to yeah first of all we should dispatch this action okay this is an action with us as we should dispatch it first of all so for that we will use a use pay use effect hook okay whenever at the first we render our component so it will dispatch the action use effect and inside it we will create a function and at the last array dependency and here uh, we will just dispatch our action dispatch we will call fetch to do fetch to do okay after calling that now let's check it okay what happened let's just come here and see let's check it our data so i think we got our data okay see we have the data 200 records in our data okay so just come here now we will assign a state that to do state that to do to our data so save it what we will receive now we will receive this object okay data error and is loading these three properties in the data we will have our data error if there was an error is loading if there was uh, if that was in pending state just come here now we will display our data okay so to display the records we will come here and first of all i will check if that was loading so we will display a loading message okay uh, if for us data okay this data data dot uh, is loading if that was loading so what we will do then we will display h1 tag loading okay otherwise if sorry what happened else what we will do we will display our our records so to display our records we will use map function data dot data dot map we will get a, a to do and we will uh, print that to do okay return in just a p tag okay or we can say in yeah a p tag that is okay print we will just print the title to do that title title of our to do's let's save it and now let's move and check it what happened see if it's all our data data okay let's refresh it uh, we faced with an error the result the error is because 
uh, we will change it to the array okay in empty array okay in empty array not null because we are uh, pitching uh, an array just come here close it and let's appreciate see by default that displayed loading if there was uh, an error so what it will do it will display as loading uh, whenever it is in fending state so it will display loading check it other whenever it pitch successfully so then it will display the records for us so we pitch just just the title we showed the title so it was all about okay to display and fetch the records using a use a uh, redux toolkit okay we used create async thunk function i hope this video was helpful for you if you like this video don't forget to subscribe our youtube channel and like the video coming down thanks for watching